All right, in this episode of Copilot, we're gonna demonstrate the power of the dashboard. What we're looking at today is the dashboard in Copilot. And not only do we show inventory, we also show status of everything that is currently being managed across our multi-cloud fabric. Up at the top, we can see here all the inventory items that are known uh, by the controller, no matter which cloud that they sit in. So we can see here we have, uh, we're managing 17 gateways, we're managing five VPN users, we're managing five cloud accounts, some AWS TGWs, BGP connections, site to cloud connections. Now, not only do we give you inventory, we also give you status directly on the dashboard. These markers below, um, gr these green markers below the chips will tell you if, if all the entities within that chip are on or off or if there's any problems. By clicking on it, you can actually see it, the status of all the constructs behind that chip. You can see here, we have some red items here. If we click on that, you can see that we have five site, site to cloud connections, but two of them are currently down. Further down below is we have a geo map that shows the location of all our managed resources, VPCs, VCNs, or VNets, where they're actually located across the globe. You can double click to zoom in to get further information and you can hover to get direct information about that managed resource right on the geo map. Further down below, we have additional inventory breakdowns. You can see these charts right here show us a breakdown of our managed accounts on a per cloud basis. So in this environment, we have two AWS accounts that we're managing, two Azure accounts that we're managing, and one Google Cloud account that we're managing. The next construct shows us a breakdown of our gateways per cloud, right? So you can see in Google Cloud, we have three gateways. In AWS, we have 11 gateways. And in Azure, we have three gateways. And the last piece on this line shows us our tran the AVHX transit gateways and how they're broken down on a per cloud basis. You can see on AWS, we have six transits. Google, we have two uh, transits. And on Azure, we have two transits. Going further down below is we have additional inventory breakdown. So gateway by type. So AVHX gateways can play many different roles. And this is a graph of what role they're actually playing. So you can see here 55% of our gateways are, are the transit role, 22 are spoke, uh, 5% are, or one of them is a VPN gateway, two are egress gateways. And here is a further chart that shows further breakdown of how every, all our gateways are distributed on a per cloud basis. So you can see by region. So no matter which cloud provider you're on, we show you which region are the gateways are fully distributed on. And the last piece on this line is gateway by size. So which instance size is associated with which gateway? So you can see we have about five CX large, 35% of our gateways are T3 smalls, and 11% uh, are standard D3s, and so forth. And the last piece on this dashboard is network traffic. This is total network traffic over the last 24 hours across all our uh, network constructs, broken down in five minute increments. So this gives us the ability to see <laughs> any spikes that are that can be visible to, to, uh, with a single glance. So you can see here, we had a huge spike of 2.94 gigabyte here around this morning. This is when we started the environment. This is when traffic started to flow. This is expected.